Okay, YouTube, I am back for the second video in this series. First, I want to say a huge thank you to everybody who's reached out and given me encouragement to make more videos and so they miss me. It was really sweet. I really appreciate it. It's very touching and it's nice to see how um, uh, this community like comes together and like kind of circles the wagons when they see a friend in need. So I really, really, really appreciate that. Um, this video is going to be kind of an explanation about why I even decided to come back and make some videos. Um, and it's about accountability. So I'm going to title this video um, something like um, The Shame of Accountability. Um, what I have noticed is over the last few years, well, I guess I've already, always kind of known this about myself. I do better when people are watching. Um, I, I make better food choices when people are watching. My exercise is usually kind of is what it is, but food wise, um, I do better when people are watching and I really don't like that about myself. It's something that I um, feel like some shame around. Like why can't I just do the right thing because it's the right thing to do for me? Um, and I think I do probably like 75% of the time, but that other 25% is what gets in my way of being completely consistent. And I realize people are not consistent um, 100% of the time. Anybody is not, but I feel like it's harder for me um, to do it when it's just me. I am lucky enough to have family and friends who love me no matter what, no matter what I look like, no matter what I eat. Um, but I think um, something that I figured out about myself a long time ago is that I used to be a big on like what I call covert eating. So eating in secret, secret eating, um, eating when nobody was watching. And I've gotten way better with that with um, my personal life. Like people on face to face, I don't hide anything from the kids or John. If I want to eat something and I know I really shouldn't have it, I still eat it in front of them. Nobody shames me for it. Um, I used to do that when I was younger because I was embarrassed and I didn't want no people to know that I was eating something I shouldn't. But I think what I moved to is kind of doing that away from the public eye. Um, I um, kind of got that, I don't know if it's like a fix or something of um, feeling like I was kind of secret eating from you guys, from the YouTube weight loss um, community or just the weight loss community in general, Instagram, wherever. And it's to me, it's embarrassing and it's, it's a weakness and it's something that I feel like I need to continue to work on. I know that, I've been knowing that for a long time, um, but I totally let it get away from me. I looked back last night to see when was the last time I made a YouTube video and it was May, 2019, so long. And it's like I proved to myself that I need the accountability, but I hate that I need the accountability. So it's like a double-edged sword. So I'm back because I want the accountability. And it's not that I think people are judging me, but I want, I always want to be seen in the best light ever. I want to be seen as somebody who is a hard worker and committed and successful. And I do know that I'm still successful from my weight loss surgery because I'm still down uh, like from my highest highest um, like way prior to surgery I'm still down like 100 pounds and then from when I started before surgery I'm down I'm still down 80 pounds so I still feel successful as a weight loss surgery patient but where I struggle with is the mental part so um, there's a lot of habits that I put in place and I stick to like the exercising and taking my vitamins and things like that that have just stuck but I can see that when nobody's watching I will allow myself to have things that I know mentally I shouldn't <laughs> um, but I guess emotionally for like comfort and stress um, relief I will allow myself to have it. And then I get mad at myself for having it. <laughs> Mostly it's like crackers and chips. Those are my, uh, that's my downfall. I've pretty much stayed away from like sweets and potatoes and rice and all that kind of carby stuff. But it's like the, the crunchy stuff is what I, the, the thing that feeds my emotions is something that I can just mindlessly munch down and, and it's, yeah. So I'm back for accountability and I'm back to, trying to figure out how to work on that for me personally so that I don't feel like I have to be back for accountability. We'll see how it goes. I'm 
I feel like I'm always a work in progress. So, um, so that's today's um, video. I'm not even sure what the next one's gonna be. I have to go through my list. I have multiple things that I like to talk about that I feel like I struggle with and I need to continue to work on. But that's it for today. I'm not sure if I'll be back tomorrow, but hopefully um, one day this weekend. If not, definitely one day next week. All right, bye guys.